Welcome to FlexiBeats, a free 10-channel pattern sequencing application with which you can make complete tracks. It lets you sonically manipulate your samples in lots of different ways, and I'll demo some of these capabilities today. Okay, I've opened some WAV files into eight channels of the app. You can use whatever WAV files you like, of course. These just all happen to be drum sounds. Now, for the channel 1 sound, here is the pattern of notes that I've set. For the channel 2 sound, it's a different set of notes. For the channel 3 sound, a different set of notes again, and so on. Let's just set the view back to channel 1. You'll also notice that the on checkboxes for all the channels containing sounds are ticked, indicating that all these sounds will play when the sequence runs. You'll also see the same kick drum sound in two of the channels, just note this for later. Right, so let's hear what this sequence sounds like. What we'll do now is add some effects to the kick drum sound in channel 1, leaving the kick drum in channel 3 dry. Over to the sound edit panel, we'll add a touch of delay, some compression, and change the amplitude of the waveform. By the way, this is what the waveform in channel 1 currently looks like. We'll now navigate back to the main panel of the app and solo the sound in channel 1 so that its pattern is all we hear when we put the effects on and I'll apply the effects on top of each other. Let's do so now. These effects still keep the essence of the sound intact. We continue to recognize it as a bass drum. We'll now move to the advanced panel to more heavily process the sound. This sound's sampling rate is 44 kilohertz, and we'll put a frequency curve on the sound from 12 kilohertz to 80 kilohertz, making the sound go from slower playback to faster playback to slower playback again. We'll also apply bandpass filtering on the sound. Here's the cutoff frequency curve, and here's the resonance curve. Finally, we'll apply wave shaping. You can see here, we'll apply it after the volume curve on the sound, which means changing the volume will radically change the characteristics of the sound through the wave shaper. And in the demo, I'll play around with this volume curve that I'm showing here to see the effect it has. Here are the settings of the various harmonic sliders on the wave shaper. I've pretty much set these randomly. Now I'll apply each one of these three processing functions individually and we'll also see what effect turning off some of the effects we applied earlier has.
So there we applied a frequency curve, a filter curve and wave shaping with a changed volume curve and with compression turned off. What we'll do next is turn solo on this sound off so we can hear it together with all the other sounds in the sequence. We'll also alter the start and end points of the sound for playback with these sliders here and perhaps play around with the notes in the channel 1 pattern as well. Thanks for listening to this tutorial of how, using some of FlexiBeat's sound editing tools, you can generate an entirely new instrument from a sample and adjust it to sound the way you want in a sequence.